All right, now we're on to control. Now, I didn't rate jungle, I don't think. I would say jungle is a B tier. Uh, it can be pretty troll. It's probably the most troll out of all of the missions because of the grenades and mainly because Natalia is just ridiculous. Um, but control is definitely an S tier mission. I would say it's the second hardest mission in the entire game. The only one harder is Aztec on double O agent. This is S tier 100%, but there's an easier way to do this. And I'm gonna show you. Now you should be able to get through this part without getting hit. Every time. This drone gun often can't hit you from around here. And I find just using the PP7 on drone guns is the best. I like to kill that guy first so that my two other opponents are coming from the same angle as opposed to having a guy coming at your left and your right. The second drone gun's easy to piece up from here. Even though it's shooting at you, it doesn't mean it can hit you. That simple. Another important part about this mission is to use as little ammo as you can. So be accurate, use headshots because you're gonna need it when protecting Natalia. Now these two guys are pretty easy to snipe. Use the wall if you want. It's these guys that are a bitch. So listen for grenades. All they do is spam nades. And I just try to slide kill them like I like I was doing on train. But just listen to grenades. They often kill themselves with nades. So try to listen for that as well. And usually I wait for the smoke to clear before I try to snipe them because it's really hard to see. Make sure you grab these mines. You're gonna need them for the mainframes. Grab all this ammo. Notice how I'm trying to use as little ammo as possible. You don't want to be protecting Natalia, running out of ammo, <clears throat> and running around trying to grab ammo. That's not what you want. Now this is the part of the level that is important if you want to complete it more easily. Now, a lot of the times it just comes down to protecting Natalia, but also when you're protecting Natalia, sometimes you have very little health left. So what I do is I throw these mines about right here. Throw it at your feet so it doesn't roll. Right there, and the same distance on this one. The tile over, and about halfway, maybe a little bit more on the ground. 
That'll still blow up these mainframes. It'll kill the two guards up there and up there. And most importantly, it won't blow out these corner glass panels. If you blow out those glass panels, you're giving the enemy more routes to attack you and Natalia from. But if you leave them, then you're going to only allow them to attack you through the stairs and through the end pieces that the guards blow out. Try to lure these guards out. There's four guys in this room. I don't remember how many guys came out at you. Killed all four of them. You can shoot these drone guns from here. guys you can kind of side peek like this just carefully that's done Taken no damage so far, which is real nice. Now there's two final pieces, really. There's the body armor. Don't forget the body armor. You might not need it, but sometimes you gotta take damage to make sure that you protect Natalia. And then you wanna blow up all of the mainframes to complete the objective. Now I'll show you there's a way, and actually I'm going to show you another trick too. There's a way that you can complete Objective C before opening that locked door that the mainframe's behind. And this is how you do that. Take out the mine. Aim for this wall right here. You want to aim to the just to the right of this and aim up. Probably out right there. And as soon as you throw it, look away. You'll hear it roll. It rolled through the wall. You just blew it up, seize complete. Now, it killed one guard in there, which it pretty much always does. Another guard will come at you. So just wait here, he can't shoot you through this. Take him out. Now the last thing I'm gonna do, well, there's actually two more things I'm gonna do. I have two mines left, I don't need any of them. There's a guard right on the other side of this wall. Okay. I'm going to kill him. Now what that's going to do is that's going to trigger all of these guards to run at this wall, as you can see. Now I'm going to kill them. Usually that kills two of them, maybe three of them. That'll allow you to exit the mission very easily. Blow this up, blow this screen up, it reduces uh, the FPS drop, the frame rate drop. I like blowing up these computers so that I have a good line of sight to these guys. These guys are the guys you really got to worry about. And now I'm ready to go. Now it's just about execution. A big thing with this is to remember is that the guards with the hats are shooting at you. They only shoot at you. The guards without the hats only shoot at Natalia. Very, very important to remember. So you want to obviously focus mainly on the guards shooting at Natalia because Natalia is much more likely to die than you are. I like staying in this spot because you can shoot at these guys easily. And then when you see guys coming down the stairs, you can easily shoot at these guys, reset, come up, shoot at these guys. It makes it a lot easier. Keep your head in a swivel as much as possible. It's 
So troll. So troll. So a lot of this is RNG. You can get really, you can get much easier RNG here, or you can get brutal RNG. We have multiple guys coming from different staircases and all that stuff. Just listen for the glass. That's who usually fucks you over, is the guys coming through the glass. Benefit of doing well with your ammo. You don't have to worry about it. Are these guys not gonna break out the glass this time. I was kind of hoping they would. Yeah, right there. Now remember, once they blow this glass out, go for this guy. Go for the guy without the hat. Keep your head in a swivel. Once they blow the glass out there, they can come back there. Now, she's running away, which means I'm done. Done, simple. Now I have a nice, easy path. Usually they blow out the far glass and I can run out that way. It is what it is. Now I've killed these guys over here. There shouldn't be very many guys back here. Look at that, I killed every single one of them. See, easy path. Now make sure you grab that body armor. Wait for, don't leave until A completes, okay? Don't leave until A completes or else you'll fail. You gotta wait. Usually it completes fairly quickly, but oftentimes you gotta wait. Boom, now that you've done that, it's over. Not that hard. I've seen guys spend days and days, eight hours a day, three days, trying to beat this mission and they can't do it. It's that easy. A lot of the things that I showed you there make this mission a lot more smoother, a lot easier. It's a lot better when you complete C, knowing that you don't have to do that after, knowing that you can just run to the end. If you clear out that room with those grenades, you can just run right to the end, grab the body armor that's there behind the lockers, and it's smooth sailing. That spot behind Natalia is the best spot. You can see everybody. You use very little ammo because everybody's right close to you running at you. It's the best strategy. Good luck. Hopefully you do it. That's an S tier mission. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.